Um, so we have started the recording and for this week, I think we're almost coming towards the end of the screening. We have like a couple, a few weeks remaining. And um, one of the things that uh, is very much needed as you move forward with building a career is building a project portfolio page, which is basically just a small website to showcase who you are, what you do, projects you've done. And it's, yeah, it's, a, it's a project that, it's a site that you will keep improving on each and every time um, you add new projects. Um, so, uh, this tutorial will be to clips. Why? So, we're going to look at why exactly you create a project portfolio, what it is, the aspect of personal branding, and then also have Google Sites, which is the site that we're going to use this week to create our portfolios. Um, why we chose it exactly. Um, and the key components to have in your portfolio. Um, so yeah. So has anyone has anyone here used Google Sites before? Okay, so it's basically just a very simple way of you to whip up like a small website in less than five minutes or 10 minutes if you have the content ready. And the reason why we're doing this is because it's it's not too technical. You don't need to code exactly to build a website. You just need to um, change what's on the template. And yeah, it's very effective and good. So the reason as to why we insist on creating a project portfolio is it showcases your work to potential employers or even um, the people, or even uh, the people who you'd wish to partner with in future incoming projects. Um, it also allows you to highlight your technical skills and expertise. So in addition to having your CV, and we're going to also look at how to craft a good CV um, next week. For yeah, next week we're going to look at how to craft a CV. So in addition to a CV, a CV always has um, a, a portfolio that has more details in terms of the projects that you've done. Um, and yeah, it has more information as compared to a CV. Sometimes a CV you're always required to put like to not put a lot of documents, uh, not a lot of information. So like limited to a few pages, but with your projects portfolio, you can write a story about how exactly you implemented a project, um, everything in detail about a project. Like I did this project, why did you do it? What impact did it have? Um, the things you learned, everything regarding the project, you can feel free to put it on the website, on your website, which is very different uh, as on a CV. A CV, you'll just have to put um, a, a summarized version of it, which sometimes lack the key details. So this is why, in addition to having a CV, it's very important to also have a project portfolio page. Um, yeah, and it's also a way to build your personal brand and an image. So in terms of who you are exactly, what skills you possess, um, where you started your career skills up to now, um, that whole journey, how exactly you transitioned from one role to another, one project to another. And yeah, so you get to build that personal brand and image on your website. So, with this, so when we talk about a project portfolio, it's basically your website. And your website is, it has every professional information about yourself that you feel is very valuable to you, your employers and partners. So 
it could be a tech project or non-tech project. Um, you have to highlight your best works. It includes the different projects that you've run, the technologies you used, and the outcomes. And also, if you if you have a link or a live demo to showcase, that would also be um, useful to have. Um, the reason why we insist on this is for personal branding. So I know you already have some other um, sites, for example, LinkedIn, that's one way of your personal branding. You also have your CV, that is also one. Um, but yeah, like we said, it's always good to, how exactly do you tell your story, who you are, what you do to the world in, um, in, in one page. So uh, for LinkedIn could have like your history of what you do and everything. But if you want to tell stories about your, the projects that you've done, um, a website would be good. And if you, yeah, so it's, yeah, so personal branding is basically selling yourself, you yourself, you're a brand on your own. And if you're looking for consultancy work or consultancy jobs, having a good website to showcase what exactly you've done in your field is very key to have. So you have to come and sit down and think about who you are, like who are you as a brand, who are you as an individual, what has someone, uh, even if you're working somewhere, what exactly is your value to this specific company? You, you and your career um, is your own brand. So it's, yeah, so it's, it, the whole aim is to just create a consistent and impactful impression. And it's also a way for you to sell yourself better because if people see the projects that you've done and how you've done it and the impact that it had, and um, most likely also to work with you. Um, so for you to create this website, um, we're going to use Google Sites and I'm going to share a link. So for Google Sites, it's very easy to use. It's just copy pasting, uh, drag and drop, add an image, edit here and there. So you don't need to write any code. Um, and you can also integrate it easily with other Google services. You can change the design and layout from the different templates they have. And then you can have a clickable link where you can share it with everyone. So from your LinkedIn, from the people at work, you can add it on your CV as well. If someone is interested to know more about the projects that you've done, you can add it on as a link LinkedIn. And it's also very free to use. So. Yeah, very cost effective. So for you, I think it would be nice if I show you in until how to actually do this. Going to so how to you just go to right sites dot com Okay, yeah, sites.google.com. So just go there and then you can either use from any of the start on a blank site or choose the templates from the template gallery. So if you're looking at, for example, 
Um, you want to showcase your projects, or if you're a professor, if you're a graduate, there are different um, projects for you. So if you have, let's, you know, just pick on a project. So if you, if you go to the project section, you'll see that it has uh, a template. So here you can change and put a title. So for example, P2J2. Um, you can put a maybe mess and then you can add one line, say, the project manager to just or just anything that you can think of if you want to change the care behind you can go to this drop down upload select um yeah you can do a lot of things so just choose something that resonates with you and then here you could also add we're going to look at the what kind of content to have so we have like a guideline on what are the key things that you need to have on um on, on your on your website so you could write a small description about yourself it could be a summary of what you do in your professional life and then here you can add your projects so this could be project one for example um uh, I don't know the projects that you've done. So you could put a picture that shows a needs with the project there, and then also the topic of the project, and then a small description of the project. And if you want to write like a big, um, if you want to write a big description of a project, you can always move. Um, yeah, you can always. You can always duplicate the section and then delete. Um, what was our page? So you have extra space to write. So it's something that you can easily customize. Um, so feel free to be very creative with it. You can enlarge it as, as big as you can, even if it doesn't fit here, you can still expand it downwards. So, um, so this is page one. Uh, if you go here, you can see that you only have. So this is your home page. It has another page as well. So if you want to, yeah, if you want to add a story about a project that you've done, you could all put it here. I don't know if you guys are always write some media blogs, so you can also have them here. Uh, so this you could dedicate this whole page into um one of the projects and write a whole detail about it also change the picture to suit you and what you do exactly um so for this other you can always customize the number of pages that you have so if you go to the pages section you can see that you have all this number of pages which appear here so you can choose to delete or add a page as you wish so if if a queue is not if the queue is not something that um, aligns with whatever you want, so you don't really need an FAQ because you're not a company, so you can just choose to delete that page. Um, also, again, since you're not a company, you don't need a team's page. So unless you're building a portfolio for your company, um, but since you don't have a team's page, you can choose to delete it. If you want to add a new page, you can also add it here. So uh, once you've done all of those things, you can also choose uh, different templates. So depending on the test, feel free to get very creative with this. And once you're done or comfortable with um, using this, you just click publish. Uh, and then you will choose the website. So here you can put your name um, and then publish. So once you publish this, you can view now the link that you will share to others. This is how you page. So all the all the pages that you had 
yet, yet. Yeah, so this would be your profile. So you can, your projects will be here, depending again on how you edit it. You can also add your email address, done. and you can choose from home, uh, history. Um, yeah, you can choose from home, history. And the one thing that, oh, sorry, I was sharing a long time. So once you click publish, this is a page that you would get to the link that you will share or post on your LinkedIn uh, top matter. You can, uh, this is how to appear as, as opposed to the unpublished site. So the unpublished site, you can see it has a lot of things for you to edit. So if you publish it and get a link to share. So if you, once you've already published, you can get here, um, you can get the link for the published site. Okay. You can view publish. Uh, yeah, you can get a link here. So this one also you can get a link for your published site link, which is what you will. Um, this is what you will submit and challenge. But it's also very good if you're using it. If you if you're giving it to your potential employers or partners. Um, the projects that you have. So, yeah. So this will be the published site. This is what anyone who received your published link site will see. The ones with the things to edit, and depending on the number of pages that you put, you can have home history and the stories of your project. And this, since this is your personal brand, try to make the stories more captivating, more interesting. Uh, to and it should really reflect who you are, what, what makes you happy, what you thrive in, what your struggles are. Um, yeah, it's basically just creating uh, your own portfolio. So now that we've seen how to work around um, creating a Google site, let's look at what kind of content to have. Uh, when you, yeah, the kind of content to have. So, um, I, I don't think you saw this because I, I had already signed in initially. So, if you go to sites.google.com, you can, if it's your first time, you're going to have to sign in first, and then you can now choose to create a new site or just edit the templates that exist. And then you also need to customize your site, uh, changing layouts, and all that we've talked about, and also adding projects and publish. So you can feel free to be as creative as you want. It's your, it's your website, it's your portfolio, it's you showcasing who you are. But some of the things that should not miss is um, the top matter, which is basically the title. Um, yeah, the title and <coughs> your background picture, and then you should also have your name and basic information. So find a way to fix it on the on the template or on your website. So name and basic by and a clickable email too. And also, if you have a GitHub link, you can add it. If you don't, um, no need to add it. Also, expertise like um what what's your what's your expertise the skills that you're good at the tools and the platforms that you're very strong at using um and then remember to always use the keywords or the lingo that exists in your professional um field and then the about me is basically a summary of who you are and your expertise so it could be like four or five sentences talking about yourself or introducing yourself to the person who comes to see your website it's it's a very it should be a very it should be like a 50 word summary so um yeah and it should say who you are so it just gives an overview of the person who's coming to your site an overview of who you are and what you do 
Um, like we said, it's also very similar to our CV, but this one is more, it has more information, especially in your projects. So I think one of the great things when you're trying to get a job or uh, or some more, it's always like what um, what projects have you done that can showcase the skills that you actually have. So it's good to add a CV, and like I mentioned earlier, we're going to have an in-depth uh, tutorial on how to craft exemplary CVs next week. And for today, we're going to craft the tutorial. So I also add your work experience, um, all the work experiences that you've had. If you don't have any work experience, feel free to add the projects that you've done. Ten Academy's projects could be one of the um, projects that you can opt to add. Um, and yeah. Yeah, and also add a link to your CV. So this could be, that should be all about basic information about yourself. So you haven't gotten to the project yet. So on the second page, you can choose to put your projects. And this could be the project you've done earlier. If you managed a project, you can choose to write something about it. And if you haven't, you can feel free to use the projects from 10 Academy. And also just give a brief description of um, what you did, how it helped, and how it involves from these related by others. So on, yeah, and it's also, it's good to show you a cool and very exceptional project. So the projects that you feel very proud of, um, choose like a minimum of three would be good. And write craft really compelling stories uh, when you're talking about the project, so don't let it just be a uh, boring description of a project. Give it out, uh, write it out as, as a compelling story. Um, yeah, and then if you have, if you write some medium blogs, or if you if you have a GitHub account, feel free to add it, and then provide a detailed explanation of the tools and techniques that you use to implement the project. Um, yeah, and also the project summary. If it was write a brief description about the project. If it was about um, if you were working in a team, feel free to also showcase how you were a good team member and how your contributions uh, contributed to the success of a certain project. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to show you a sample of one of the projects that we have from um, a different journey. So this is an example. So it has the portfolio. It has our basic aims, the university, the clickable email, a link to the LinkedIn profile. If you had a GitHub, this is where I put it. And all the skills and competencies that they have. Small introduction about themselves and education or work experience and also a place to download the CV. So they also did a few projects. And then this project, if if it has a GitHub account, you can put it if there's somewhere, if you published a link or a site or a paper somewhere, this is where you could also link. Um, so yeah, you can also add links to so this is clickable if I click it, it takes me to his repository, but this could be anywhere. It could be your it could be a media or it could be uh, a paper that you've published or anything. Um I hope everyone is on the same page as of now before we go into the exercise right week. Mr.
Okay, thank you. Uh, so far, it was good presentation. Uh, maybe my question is uh, like uh, on the uh, demonstration part, and how to uh, start to create the, our uh, portfolio page. Maybe sometimes your uh, voice were not uh, read, I mean, audible to us and you were taking off. So can you get back to that part so that we can have a good understanding on that? Because for me, it seems uh, the main body of our, our task for this week to create our uh, portfolio using this online version. So would you mind to get back to that part and highlight to us again? Thank you, over to you. Okay, um, yeah, I would be more than happy to go back. So I think it's also for the exercise, there's also like a step-by-step um on how to do it so if you go i hope you're seeing yeah you're seeing it so if you go here there's a link so so this is a link that will take you to google sites so if you click on that link it will direct you to this page here so on this page you can you have a template gallery so for me, I have like original profiles here. So, um, but if you're new, you, there, there won't be anything here. So you go to the template color. And for the first time, I think you'll need to sign in. For the one that you signed in. And then, yes, I can sign in. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good morning, uh, good afternoon, please. Good afternoon. Uh, I'm, I'm, I want to talk on the career ch challenge. Uh, good, I, I saw the career challenge uh, link, um, but the most of the, <clears throat> most of the instruction there, I seems not to understand how to go about them or what to do. You're talking about portfolio, yes, uh, Google sites. Mm, are we to are we go, are we still going to have a practical and on the session on it? Um, no, this is the only session. So, um, it's it's very easy to use, and I think um it's 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 also what i was trying to explain to terry for now so maybe i just go back and then start again so it's it's very easy to use it's something you can make our website in about like 10 minutes so um if you go to the career challenge this week yeah so here we have the google site so this link you just click on this link um and then it will take you to google sites so it will take you here are we open until then are you is it here up until there uh, I, di I i didn't get that please It wasn't clear, uh, please. Can, can, can you go on? Kasa, okay, I'll come back to it. Kasa, you have anything to add here? Yeah. Good Hello? afternoon, uh, Margarita. Good afternoon. Uh, good presentation. Maybe my question. Are you with me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah. Uh, maybe my question is uh, already I supposed to ask you two questions. The one is you already mentioned the difference between the portfolio and the resume or CV. Uh, portfolio mm -hmm. is more detailed than the CV. Uh, it's good. Yes. Uh, the other question that uh, I want to ask you is who needs this portfolio? For example, uh, when we see in the individual world, most of the times they need cover pages and uh, uh, these uh, resumes. 
they not need the portfolio for the both hires and uh, job seekers. So we need this portfolio. Why we prepare the benefits? This is my question. How many benefits of having a portfolio? Uh, sorry, by the way, your uh, sound is broken. Maybe my network is poor. I don't know. Um, how about now? It's good now. Okay, um, so you were asking uh, why it's important to have a portfolio. The second question, right? Hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. we need a portfolio. Okay, um, so it's a more advanced the portfolio need more to of course yeah it's it's mostly used for if, if you if you want to showcase your projects and you're applying for a job or looking for um work so where exactly would you showcase the projects that you've done in detail how exactly you worked on them and also it's just a personal it's just a way to brand yourself personally so um who you are, what you've done, your experiences, everything in one area. So it's something to complement your CV. So um, yeah, something to complement your CV. It's very nice to have. Um, Adesani? Uh, hello? Yes, I can hear yes I, I i i i didn't get your I, I, I didn't get your response the other time i actually have a failure in the network what i'm saying is this uh the the go i i, I saw the career challenge and uh, i seems not to understand some of the instruction there then talking about the google site how are we going to go about it are we still going to have a an hand, hand on practical session on this or we just go into the site and uh, uh, try to initiate the account and uh, start it. But uh, I want you to just give us a kind of um, a, a recap that will give us the uh, most in-depth uh, uh, introduction to this uh, into this uh, session. Thank you. Okay. Um, I hope you can hear me now. Well, understand me. Yes, I can hear you very clear now. Okay, so we were just going through how exactly to use Google Sites. Um, so I think I started from the career challenge and now there's no other practical session. This is the only session that you have. So I don't know if you were, if you, did you, did you join late or did you also get the, there was a practical part where I explained how to use um, the Google Sites. Were you there? Hello. Yes, Ford. Hello, Margaret. Can you hear my voice? Yes, I can. I hope everybody is doing great. Uh, yeah. I have some questions here. Okay. Uh, uh, like I think uh, your presentation, your presentation was really great. I have been following you, and uh -huh. but I, but I have a couple of questions. The first thing mm -hmm. was that uh, this Google slide is it totally free? Yes, and yes, it's very free. I think uh, somewhere 
I have read, I have read that, uh, you know, it charges some dollars, some dollars. Uh, and uh -huh. and uh, how, how is it, is it reliable enough? Or can it keep files for longer than three years without any, any update? Because uh, this time there are so many options for creating a portfolio website. But uh -huh. uh, like my question is about its reliability. Can we trust it? Um, um, yes, I think. Yeah. I have so, one, one more question. Okay. Maybe. I think uh, you're taking notes of my question. The first one is actually yes. like it's all about the free. My second question is, uh, how do you rate its reliability? And my final question is. Uh, uh, like I think you have you have you have shown us some portfolios from uh, other trainees in this program. So uh, are those? Can you include those links uh, in the in the challenge uh, document so that you can see and just get some guidance from that? Okay. Um, so if you go to the presentation tutorial, so inside the careers challenge, you'll find on the last page, on the second last page, the links are there. So I put three links. Um, they're not for the AI for project management, but they're for the, um, the intensive training, but it's still for you to get an idea of how to structure your website. Um, the other thing, it's completely free and it's very reliable in a way that just like how you save your documents on Google, uh, you'll still find them three years later, four years later. And the good thing with it is um, if you get new projects or if you want to update your portfolio, you can always just go back and edit and publish, edit, publish. So it's very really easy and reliable and free. Um, I hope I've answered all your questions. Um, I would like to uh, do a second demo again for how to use Google Sites for Adesami and I think Terrafa. Okay, uh, one more question, please. Yes. Uh, so, like, I think we are approaching our final, our final week, and uh, is this challenge is is this challenge gonna be our last one, or are we gonna have next? Uh, are we gonna have another in the next in the coming week? Uh, we're going to have another challenge next week on how to craft good CVs. Um, yeah, so I think we have, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't know if it's two or three weeks, two or three weeks remaining. Um, I'll confirm Thanks. that, let you know, yeah. Thanks, Margaret. And, like, actually, it's not the time, but, like, yes. I'll be trying to connect you on Slack. And uh, I hope you, you could answer my message. Thank you. Well, just um, let me check. Okay, um, I'll, I'll check on it later and then I'll get back to you. Oh, yeah, I see. Um, yeah, I think it was an issue with the grading. Um, yeah, I think I'll grade it when, when we're grading for last week. So I'll add it there. Just take your time and just... Okay, grade. yeah, okay. thanks. Thanks for your patience. Um, so let's go back again to how to practically do this. I think some of you missed it. So the first thing for you to create your portfolio is to go to this link. So uh, I'll just, all right.
Okay, so the first thing we will do is to click on this link and this will take you here. So once you're already at Google Sites, you can either choose to create a website from your blank or if you want some guidance, you can choose some templates along the template that I, so depending on who you are and where you are at your career stage. So if you're a graduate, there's a, there's a, there's a template for you. If you're a professor, there's a template for you. Um, and yeah, a student as well. And then I went to this project template so far. So mostly, yeah. So when you click on it, um, that is on the entire way. I hope you're following. Okay, great. So once you're there, you, it's so easy to edit. So you you can if you have a logo you can put your an idea logo there you can choose to delete that and add that upload maybe from a picture um so you can also put the name of your website so what do you want your website to be called so Jericho's website and then so and this we have three tabs to help you edit so here is if you want to add text, text box is basically a box that lets you edit or add words. And then um, you can also add images. So you can choose which image, you can also add it here. You can also embed a link or a drive. And this is just for you to structure your content. So how exactly would you like um the blocks to be so would you like it to be two block or two and one so it really depends on you um and then you have any other things so you can add a map calendar into links. the other feature that we have is pages site and this is yeah this hamburger um local um, hamburger yep. this hamburger list here you can get home history team and if you so these are the pages that that comes with this template so you can choose to edit the number of pages you wish to have on your page so and where you can edit this is here so you can choose to add a page so if you want a page to write about um Malaria project. You can add a new page, and for that you can then add. You can choose to add uh, either a text box or an image or anything that you would like, and edit your page. So, if for example you choose this template for project, it already comes with. All these predefined uh, pages, so for example, the history, the team, and FAQs. So, unless you're building a site for your company, you can choose to have an FAQ. But since you're writing your own website, you can choose to, you can add and delete pages. Since it's also your own, you don't need a, you don't need a team's page because it's not a company's portfolio, it's your own. Portfolio. So you can also choose to do that. Uh, if you wish, you can also just choose to edit maybe the name of the um, name of that. So you could write things about. You could also add another project. So maybe a logistics project. And then on this page, on the Larius page and the logistics page. You can now choose to add a topic, a brief history, a picture that relates to your project, and just some descriptions. And with this, you can also choose to either edit or delete or add more. 
uh, from this wheelchair. So if you don't like the theme that this one has, so right now you see we've edited the pages. Now we have four pages, home, layer, and logistics. So if I go, yeah, you can also change, you can also write, but so this could be maybe a personal file and then like a small summary about yourself. So when it comes to content on what content to have, you have, so yeah, um, once you click the link, you customize the site, add your work and share your portfolio. So this is for FAUD. You wanted links for the, um, yeah, you wanted links for the sample um, portfolio. So we've put three here. This is from well, all intensive training trainers. So they were, their specialty was in data engineering. So you as a project management managers, so you can also customize yours. Now, when it comes to adding content, we have some guidelines on what content to have. So here you can see the top matter, you can choose to change the background. It could be something that you relate to, something that you like, or just, yeah, something that interests you, that makes you you. And then you can change the name. And basic bio, so I'm sure you need basic bio is also there. So yeah, it's very straightforward. So you name where you're from, university, your title, the, the expertise section, um, your what your expertise is, uh, and then about me. So this is basically um, who you are just like a 50 word summary of your career, your education bit and your work experience and also add a link to your CV. So that should be on the first page here. Yeah, so all of that, all of that should come on the first page. So, yeah, and you can also choose to delete pages like that. You can delete sections. Um, yeah, and when you're also editing, so you can also duplicate this. So you can put a picture of maybe the malaria or the pictures that you took in that project, the title of your project, and a brief description of what your project does. So once you are so. If the content for you to put on your project, refer to this, um, refer to this page, refer to the careers challenge. So we have the profiles to choose from and project summary. And then, yeah, just this is just a checklist that you need to have. Um, yeah, a checklist to just make sure that you put everything about yourself. And remember one of the biggest things on platform is giving a story about the projects and done, describing the projects in a very compatible way. So once you're really satisfied with all the edits that you've made, you've added all your necessary pages, you've changed the layout from the themes that you have here. So you can choose different fonts, you can change your according to the fonts that you like. Um, yeah, you just choose different um yeah, you can just choose different templates here so once you're really satisfied with everything that you've done you could you have to publish so you have to publish you have to click publish and yeah you change the name of how you want it to appear and you can also you also need to change so this is just like the Google Docs and all, there's a place where you can manage who has access to your website. And this can this can not only be used for your own personal website, but it can also be used if you're trying to build, if you're trying to quickly build a website for a project or a company or anything very simple, but still gets the job done. So here you can change the settings on who you want to be 
who can access your document. So if you're, if you're sending it to anyone, so it's always good to put anyone who has a link in view and also put it on your LinkedIn page so you can click publish. So once you publish, you'll get a link here that shows you that you can view the published site. So the difference between the published site and this site is the published site doesn't have all these pop-ups for edit and it doesn't have all this um, editing features. So if you want to get the link to the published site, you can come here and click this drop down menu here and then view published site. So every time you come back to, you can always, yeah, every time you can always come back to that page. Um, yeah, you can always come back to that page, make some edit and improve on something. Make sure you always click publish to reflect the changes that you've made. Um, so how, so if you click publish, this is how it will look like. Um, yeah, so this is how it would look like. So without, without all those editing features, this will be the view of someone who's reading your profile. So since this is my account, I will get, uh, I'll get this thing here. So this one, if you click on it, it will take you back to the editing page. But someone who's, who's, this is not his or her account, this won't be shown. So you can see um, the final website, it just has the different pages, but you can press a form where you put your personal information and all the projects. So remember, this, these are areas where you need to edit. And if you did a project and it was posted somewhere on a setting, website you can always add a link um to the project here so remember this you can edit you can choose to have your projects or not have them here um and if, like i mentioned if you have experience building or doing other projects feel free to add them here if you don't have any work experience yet feel free to use a project within academy to add them here so we have them and then you can see the second page as well, you are creating something about your media project, and you can also edit this and add more details, more pictures uh, about it. And you can also feel free to change this background image into something that maybe relates to malaria or the pictures from the project you took when doing the malaria project. And then you can also see the other page here. So remember, all of this is editable. Um, you just have to, yeah, it's also good to add your email address and phone number. So remember all of this is very much, you can still come back and edit it. So for example, I want to add a story about the malaria project. So I can just um, add um, maybe a few words about the malaria project. And every time I click publish, um, yeah, every time I click publish, you're going to see the current draft and what is existing in the published site. So you just click publish again. And if you go to view, yeah, you can see that it has updated anything here. So I hope that will give you, um, that gives you a good way to jumpstart. Um, building your website and remember to be very creative with it. Um, yeah, be very creative with it. And yeah. Um, I just send me and terrify. Is that a bit more clear? Yeah, sure. It is uh, more clear now. Maybe the follow up question. Is uh, can we use the link of this uh, our personal website when we are applying for different jobs uh, under the in our CV under the reference part? Can we also just use as a reference 
maybe most of the time they mean at least three referees under that you can use this uh, uh, link to show them our work is it possible Thank yeah you. i think you can you can feel free to share and add it it's it's your own so this is a tool that will just help you in if you ever feel like it might be useful for certain things it's definitely your own to use it however you want it any other questions? Okay, um, Addison, is, is, is it clear for you? Okay, um, in case it's not clear, you can always have the video uploaded on YouTube and you can go back to um yeah thank you everyone I think for our first time thanks for being here wish you have an amazing thing okay um that was a very fantastic presentation Margaret thank you and thanks for teaching us uh, a new skill like building uh, a Google site. By the way, like uh, I use the Google tools most of the time, but you know, uh, I haven't noticed that I can build a personal uh, portfolio site, site using just Google. Most of the time, I used to use like uh, WordPress or some other tools. But thank you for sharing this this valuable information. Have a good time. You too. Thank you, and you're welcome. There are also, yeah, like you mentioned, there are very many other tools that you can use outside to create your website. Um, but yeah, I think we just chose this because it's free and it's easy to edit. Um, I'm glad you appreciate it. Thank you also for being here. Shall we